All right, y'all, how we feeling about Kaitlyn Clark being left off of Team USA? America is livid right now because their star player is not on this 2024 Paris roster. And people are even more livid because Brittany Griner is on this roster. Brittany Griner was in that scandal where she got held in prison in Russia for, what, over a year? For, I guess, per, per, for possessing illegal substances? All right, I'm going to give y'all my two cents. So, Kaitlyn Clark wasn't in the trial. Oh, this is absolutely delicious tea absolute controversy in women's sports. If we wanted to make the casual newbies absolutely furious, we would do this. Team USA roster just got released. Expected to leave Caitlin Clark off the fucking roster. New women's basketball fans who just got interested in the sport a couple days before the Olympics start and be like, oh, is Caitlin Clark on the roster? And the answer is gonna be no. So let's go down the list. Kelsey Plum, you cannot leave off. Jewel Lloyd, definitely you cannot leave off. Kalia Copper, not even the same position, cannot leave her off. Jackie Young, cannot leave her off. Sabrina Ionescu, cannot leave her off. Chelsea Gray, eh, because she's been injured. But, but, but then you got a 41-year-old Diana Taurasi on the, on the roster, Dusty Bones. Why is she still here? Why is she around? If you're trying to grow the game of women's basketball, you would not do this. You would not leave Caitlin Clark off of the Paris Olympic roster if you are trying to grow the sport. If Caitlin Clark was on this roster, the ratings would be bigger than the men's event. Probably bigger than Team USA Gymnastics. But no, fuck it. Let's just roll out UConn legend Diana Taurasi. On my radar, like everybody's, because of Caitlin Clark. And the other girls in the league are delighted for her success. I'm joking, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking hate her, and they've been... <laughs> Show the tape of her getting body checked. This is a game the other day, and she... I mean, that was pretty deliberate. And look at the other girl on her team coming over. Not... See, if this was men... They defend each other on their... Yes, for some reason, I do not like to report on this, but it is important I show you what is going on. WNBA star Kathleen Clark expected to be left off Team USA Olympic Roasters report. That is according to an article published by Fox News. This is causing a lot of problems on social media. A lot has been going on. All right, I'm at Saratoga Belmont Day, looking spectacular per usual, shoes, bang. But this is about Caitlin Clark being left off the Olympic team. How dumb are these women? How dumb? I don't know who's making the decision, Women's Olympic Committee, whatever it is. I don't care if you don't think Caitlin Clark, talent-wise, belongs on this team, even though she does put up 37 to 13, like the most points in the history of the league for a rookie. I don't, none of it matters. These women... And I love women. I'm a pro-woman guy. Women guy. They complain and they cry about equal rights, equal wages, blah, 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 blah. Hey, dummies. For the first time, like, in the history of basketball, you have arguably a player who is the most popular player in the world. And people seem not to be happy with these Indiana Fever Rocky Kathleen Clark will not be headed to Paris this summer for the 2024 Olympic Games, according to multiple reports. The WNBA phenom, who was unable to attend U.S. basketball training camp in April because of the knockout tournament, was reportedly left off the final rosters. The Associated Press reported, citing a source. Okay. At the end of this video, you are going to find out a lot of things which I will read out so you can understand exactly what is going on. When it concerns this issue of racism, I don't always like to talk up or do videos on because I trigger a lot when I see it. I've seen people going on on social media, putting out videos, articles, partaking to this with different opinions, but it is important we take an exclusive look into it. Most popular, most puts asses in the seats, single basketball player in the world. You could argue that. Yeah, you could say maybe LeBron, Luca, whatever you want, but you can argue it. And you leave her off the Olympics team? It's not only a showcase for her, it's for the sport and the other WNBA players who are on this team. 
How dumb, how brain dead, how idiotic do the people running this thing have to be? It was one thing after another with her. How I, I at the business part of my brain is like these people, and maybe it's a guy who did whoever it is. I don't ever want to hear you complain about flying commercial or not getting salaries or this, that. You're too dumb. You're too dumb. You have a cash cow. This can bring the Olympic basketball, women's basketball, will be like the number one thing people watch with Caitlin Clark. As it is, I'd rather watch grass grow. I'd rather watch paint dry. I'd rather watch dirt just be moved around because Caitlin Clark's not on the team. If she's there, it's appointment TV. You people, whoever did this, honestly, hey, take your brain, put it in a museum, and study it for how dumb you are. Yes, according to Bima Hub, they even hit her. The leak is very lesbian, and she's not. Bima Haslam, Kathleen Club, WNBA teammate, Ben Cathy, and not defending her. That is the simple truth. Let me play this audio so you can understand exactly what he said. If this was men, they defend each other on their same team. I mean, men will fight from two teams, but when somebody checks you on who's on your team, you defend that guy. I'm just saying, men have their bad parts. We're toxic. We're dogs. <laughs> but only women would do this. Well, women are catty, even the ones on her own team. Matt Barnes, this is, he said, my question and my issue is, where the f*** are her teammates at? I've seen a couple of girls smirk when she's got knocked down, half-assed at pick. viewing habits as you do and yet i watched the final four women's this year because caitlin clark was so awesome and he had storylines of people who hated each other and everything that you want in sports just brutal awful competition mixed with excellence it was great so it's really fun and i love that we're talking about the WNBA, which i've never really cared about since the days of cheryl miller um and uh she is getting knocked on her ass right now she's leading the league in turnovers her team kind of stinks it is a great moment of a She's taking accountability for what happened, and we've moved forward from that. Obviously, she probably won't do that again, and she's moved forward from it. Yeah. We don't have any regrets. We're yeah. moving forward from it. Yeah, it's, sure. it's a basketball play. It happens all the time in different sports. When you chug somebody, there I can pull up multiple clips. It happens. At the end of the day, it's all love outside of basketball. When we're in those four lines, it's smoke. After, it's all love. I promise we're a genuine team. We're a genuine person. We're not, we didn't hit her like she was out on the streets. It's just, it's just basketball. Have you basketball. seen me hit JJ when we were in New York and I bumped her and she bumped me back and yeah. laid her down? Yeah, it's just that basketball. That could have been a flagrant one too. Yeah. It's the okay. same. It's just, you can't pick and choose who, who gets flagrant ones and flagrant twos. We, we can't. It's bad. Yes. Let me share my little opinion, particularly to this, which I did not even want to. I believe you had been my heart. It is insane. Like, where are all the teammates? They should be able to stand up for her. Up. Because I believe if I'm on this same situation, I should be able to stand up for my friend. Even if we don't agree in many things, that is how it should be done. Everybody is just there. Oh, maybe somewhere even jealous. Like, oh, she should go, you know? Things like these actually expose your enemy or people who just dislike you for maybe for your performance, things like that. I see a lot of people, you know, bringing in, oh, it was laced with racism, things like that. I don't want to talk on that because I have a problem when we always link things like they wish I have seen in a clear case. Like Bima said here, maybe it's because uh she's not a lesbian i don't even want to pronounce it reason we are experiencing this